This is Twit. Unless you're using the latest version of IE, that is IE 11, or Chrome, both of which will will be immediately made aware automatically that Adobe has a newer version of Flash, you really do need to update. If you're running any kind of Flash blocker, as of course every, everyone is who's using NoScript, then you're probably more okay. The reason this is a problem is that a an integer underflow bug has been found. This was detected by uh, the guys at Kaspersky who found it being used in the wild. So they, in doing their research, their, their, their malware research, they found instances where people were running, going to a page that ran Flash, and they were getting malware installed just by visiting that page that had flashed enabled content. I don't know whether this was ads or something from the page. Well, we actually, actually, one of the things I want to talk about here in a second is an, a troubling increase in the level of malware we're seeing in ads. And of course, ads are offering delivering flash content to the annoyance <laughs> of web surfers everywhere. But Adobe's got a an update that they pushed out under you know like emergency terms to deal with what is this zero day flaw. Um, so it's important for for people whose browsers are not updating themselves automatically to to go get that. Um, you really should either have you know I mean it's hard to work without Flash. It's you know it's still something that people are using. And, and depending upon, there's a site that I like, uh, uh, nutritiondata.self.com, which has is a really a nice way to research the, the, the content of stuff that you eat. Um, but all of their little charts require Flash. So I'm often wanting to do it on my, you know, on, on an iOS device, which, you know, famously doesn't support Flash. So I can see some of the stats, but not the little charts. So it's sort of annoying. We were talking, because we were talking about the exploit, we were talking about it on Mac Break Weekly. And uh, what was it, Alex or Aaron Hillegas? One of the one of the guests said, you know, they've been very successful in recoding everything in HTML5. Mm -hmm. uh, no problems. Uh, they've solved all the latency issues. Just, it, there's, Flash should just die. It there's really no should. reason to use it anymore. Yep. And it locks you out of every iOS device. So, yes. you know, besides the security issue, you're, you're losing a big portion of the mobile audience. Just don't use it. And, of course, the mobile audience is a growing portion <laughs> of the, yeah. the audience. Yeah. I presume that the site you're talking about is from Self Magazine, and you'd think they would care about that kind of stuff.